lovely jewels to share with you guys. Um, some estate sale, yard, um, not yard sales. Still don't have yard sales here. It's still, still cold. Um, but some different things that I have gotten. Um, so this one, this is another that I believe is rock crystal. This, I can't recall how much this one was. It's got the tag. I like the ones that have the wire. And let me see. These were in Hola, como esta? There's little flea bites on these, but I don't think they're that bad. These are so hard to find in like perfect condition. It's almost impossible. But again, you can kind of tell the, the rock crystal, I think, because of how clear. Hello, Kim. How one like wonderfully clear these are. Like if you guys see the ones that I got, the one that I got yesterday. Um like how clear these are compared to some of the other ones and they're just they're just magnifique so hello tanya welcome um yesterday i had to cut things short my poor daughter was not doing well she is did not have a high fever today <laughs> so not after midday at least so this, I I don't remember how much I paid. I think this one has an extender on here. You can kind of tell that, which is kind of nice. This one is not actually super duper short, though. You guys know sometimes these are, like, so super duper short. Um, they're, like, actually can be really hard to wear. This one is decently long and really doesn't have a lot of issues. Because um, these are older. I think these are like 30s a lot of times. So this is beautiful art glass. And it's just really cool. So I got that one. Said this one. Oh, I remember this one was from an estate sale. So that was like the eight dollars or whatnot. I think very pretty every day. Um, this I'm trying to see what is that? Is that like something on here? This seemed old to me know what that is if this is like ceramic or or what i guess maybe i don't know this looked looked old look at the clasp it's got the little nub for the clasp and it's brass and like even look at how these are in here and it's on this is glass and the other one is glass I've not really seen anything quite like it. And I think it's kind of older, like 30s or 40s, I think. Just judging by the clasp and this. And I just, I've never really seen beads like this on here. And bead necklaces are kind of just like, yeah, whatever. But I just, I thought this one was really fun and I like... The, that it's stylized here. So, I don't know. I thought it was really fun. Um, forget what's in some of these boxes. What's in the box, right? What's in the box? Oh, yeah. So, this was in here. I'm going to actually throw this over because I'll use, use that box again when I mail stuff. I think these are real bench beads. You can kind of see, like, I think the higher quality you don't see the seams. 
I believe. And these are what the real older um, native made clasps look like. Because, um, yeah, I think with a lot of the bench beads, if they're really high quality, you won't see the seams like that. But the seams should be there on the sides. Um, and I think these are dyed turquoise. But they're neat shapes because they could either be, hello, Anna, dyed real turquoise that just is chalky white or like a blue um or they can be dyed how light or something like that so you just you kind of never know but i thought this was really pretty and it was under ten dollars and look look you can it's definitely hollow it's sterling silver these um the real bench beads are usually made out of that. I don't always know. Sometimes these these beads are, and sometimes they're not. But I thought that one was also a winner. Um, I'll open this one in a second. Oh, oh, that's what was in this bag. That's right. So I was gonna, I was gonna go through that bag and the other things I did yesterday. And like I said, I heard my <laughs> my daughter start puking and. I thought maybe I should go help her, like a good mom. Um, but she had been, like, sleeping the whole time. Hello, Pamela. So, I didn't know she was up until I heard her not feeling well. I don't see it. So, so many places they take off the thing. So, this one's sterling. And it's marked HS or something like that. They're both marked Sterling HS, I believe. I don't even know if these go together, to tell you the truth. But I don't think they were super duper expensive. But these are like leafy, feathery-like. And then this is leafy, which... Could be a really fun, cool accent on different stuff, you know? And they're they're all marked sterling. I don't remember how much they were. I think that might have been on the three for twenty-five. Um, and then there was this one. I think this was the same thing. This is marked China Seven. And 925S, or R. Okay, so it's the R. I thought this was just lovely, though. You know, the R that you see that's a cursive that's on a lot of different sterling jewelry um, from China. Something international or something. It's a beautiful cocktail type ring. It's a lot. But it's very pretty. I don't know. Do you guys like rings like this or not? Always curious. This, look at this. This is, oh, it's a water sign. It's pouring the water out. Aries is air, right? It's a Virgo or something like that with the water. It's one of the signs. It is Joseph of Hollywood. I pretty much never see Joseph of Hollywood. I think I've seen one other thing. And so this is, I think, silver plated. But it's part of a, a series. And some of you definitely tried to clean it. I think it's neat, though. Hello. Um, I kind of like the brass that it's taken off. So it's not in perfect condition, but yeah, Joseph of Hollywood, amazing maker. If you guys have not heard of Joseph of Hollywood, look them up. I think they have an Instagram with really neat stuff. 
Oh, thank you, Sandra. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, they made things for movies, for movie stars, like Marilyn Monroe, um, Audrey Hepburn, and stuff like that, that they wore Joseph of Hollywood pieces in the movies. So it's a very movie nostalgia as well. And I, you just don't see it that often. So I grabbed that. Look at this. I got another another bracelet. <laughs> this one has the extender. Oh, maybe it does only go like this. I thought it was supposed to have the other one, but maybe it is always like this. I'll have to check the other ones I have. Hello, Sally. So, yeah, I think this is the same size as the other ones, too. I like to layer them up. But, yeah, I maybe I... Don't know why I thought the other extender was missing stuff, though. Maybe it is not. These look so great when they are clean. So I will clean this one with the other ones. Um, three for 25 was all of this stuff, so I grabbed it. This, it's like a box and then a B. <laughs> I don't know what that means but then I think it says 925 Italy on here I shall show you guys coming in close see I think it's 925 Italy and then BB or something like that I don't know who that maker is. Excuse my chip nails. I do them, and then they chip, like, right, <laughs> right after they dry. I need to get mine done, but like I said, I don't like to ruin my real nails. You like those, Sally? I thought they were different, right? And I, like, I've been putting on stuff with, like, bigger posts, and they just, they hurt my ears. Um, these I thought were different. Oh, you think maybe Dooney and Burke? I don't know. Um, it seems like a name brand of something. I just, I don't know. And then I grabbed this. I believe this is, so I know that is Sterling Silver. And Garnet. I think it's faceted Garnet. It's very heavy, very deeply red. And I think it might be handmade or something, too, like stamped. Look at that. It's fun. And I have been trying to put together some layered pieces for hearts. I think, I think that is just fascinating. And it's a well-made, handmade piece. And it is heavy. And I just, I love these faceted garnets. They're really dark, deep, garnety goodness. That, um, yeah, garnet, the name from it came from pomegranates. And I can see why. All right. I'm going to show you guys what's in this box. Do you guys want to see what's in this box? Yes, is what I was thinking, Sally. But I like my neck messes ready to go, so I was going to show you guys that. I have no idea what this is <laughs> or why it's there. Um, so I was going to show you guys that. All right. So I have been eyeing this for a while. This was at a thrift store or like, like a um, consignment store. I've been looking at it in a while. And it was 20% off the story when I, store when I went in there. So I was like, I'm going to finally get this. It still has the tag. It doesn't say how much it was originally. And Betsy Johnson is difficult because some of her stuff is super duper expensive. And resells for a lot. And other stuff just is not. And I am pretty sure... This is one of the things that would be a higher priced item. So you can see this one, BJ, the whole Betsy Johnson goodness. And 
with the clasp. Let me show you guys a close up. So these are loose. These ones, those are articulated. And so are these on this side. I sent Gina a picture of these. I was curious because I have not found anything like this one online. Um, and I don't see that it's missing any rhinestones. I love that. That it, it shakes and it moves. And that it's so super duper pink and purple. And with the like sugar skulls, I think. So... Isn't this amazing? So I think it was 20% off of $39.99. Um, and I've just, I've been looking at it and looking at it. And I was like, it was 20% off. And like, I got to get this. Um, fabulous, right? So fabulous. I hate to like wear it because then, you know. Then what do you do with a tag? But, like, also, this is be being begged to be worn. So, I don't know. I don't know. I love it. It's amazing. It is probably... I sold one other Betsy that was, like, pretty big. And... Um... No, it doesn't want to go back in the box. Go back in the box. It doesn't want to go... I know, I'll leave it on. <sighs> That's funny. All right. And then this one I think I got from my car. No, if this one's not. <laughs> this was from Savers. I got this one from Japan. How wonderful. Hello from the U.S. This one I got from my husband. I thought these were fabulous. They were still in the box. They were under $10. Look at this stone. I think it's a special color of Tiger's Eye. It's called, it's Destino and it is gold filled and it's got a patent number in the back. I think it might actually be gold over sterling silver. I think because like you can see parts of it there. Isn't it so neat? Like, I think these are some of my favorite cufflinks I have found. I want to get some things for for me. I, th I think cat's eye a lot of times is not real. These are real stones. Um, and they're really, really super well made. And they're just so beautiful. I want to get some of my cuffs, French cuffs, made for... Me, but, oh, button-down shirts just do not work for me. They don't work. It's funny, I had some violets in here for a friend. I'm preparing to sell her some things. And uh, everything smells like violets. <laughs> Kind of funny. All right. This sale was amazing. Okay. This was all a state sale. Look at this St. John. Isn't this absolutely fabulous? I love it. It's very Janet Jackson. Um, Rhythm Nation. I think. St. John. And it was not that expensive. Like, everything was the same prices. This was funny because Dawn had just mentioned um, KJL doing work for Ivana Trump. And I saw this right after we, like, she had that video talking about Ivana Trump and no rhinestones missing. 
and in fabulous condition, as you can tell. And I just thought that was really awesome. And then these I love. I am going to wear these earrings. Look at these, and they're pierced. And they're, they're St. John. They're huge. They're just amazing. And they're pierced. I love the shape of these. That is just so unique. I've never seen earrings like that. I love these separate from the brand and the fact that they're St. John. And they're on the original St. John card. With sex for St. John for sex Fifth Avenue. Isn't that just so cool? So these go pretty well together as well. Um, just fabulous. And then this set. Yeah, these are Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers. Hello, Marlon Pierre Pierre. I love the color of these. And I love the shape. You guys know turquoise and coral are my two favorite colors. These are in excellent condition. And it's just, just stunning. These, I, I think I paid $20 for this. Um, I think this is sterling and it's different. Like I've never seen one like this. Look at the clasp here. That is just unique. And on a leather chain that is in perfecto condition, brass and copper. I don't normally get in too into this stuff. But these are like poured glass. This is what the back looks like. I don't see a signature, but it is definitely made by somebody. There's some green on here. So I'll have to get that off. Which, you know, I'll just put some vinegar on it to clean that part off. But it's not, it's not bad. And I think... These are real stone, and this, I think, is supposed to be oxidized that way. It is super artsy, and uh, I have a collection going. Like, you guys remember these? Like, that's the kind of thing. I love that. So, it's not something I would normally have paid $20 for, but... I just thought it was very unique, and the other stuff that was there, I thought I needed to grab it. I was also very surprised by these. I did not expect these to be marked St. John as well. Ah, uh, go in. Oh, thank you. Look at these. Ladybug. You guys know I love bugs. I love bug jewelry. Um, didn't know that ladybugs could bite, but apparently they can. Aren't these so adorable? Like, I thought these would be really neat to wear with a flower brooch and then put the little ladybugs near them. Yeah, and they're, they're designer bougie ladybugs that's that's what i'm going with bougie bougie ladybugs <laughs> and then oh yeah this one so i have to do some fixing on this you guys recognize by the clasp who this is oh, i don't have a bumblebee i need a bumblebee clasp is so unique and I've only ever seen it on Eisenberg Eisenberg is that um, 
These are in such great condition. However, there is a few rhinestones out of here that I'm going to need to fix. But that's the easy part anyway. Um, and yeah, they're a t teeny tiny bit yellow, but not bad. It's in really good condition. Um, so this is just, it's a stunner. And this one right here in the middle is articulated. So this was $20 as well from the estate sale. But this will be so nice when I have all of the rhinestones in there. And I should have enough. I just went somewhere and tried to get rhinestones today. It is hard to find clear rhinestones. And they don't sell them in Michaels or anything anymore either. So it is very difficult to find them. So beautiful. This this was a good day. It was a good day. Alright. What do we have in here? Some weird stuff, I feel. random stuff. So I think this is Michael Kors. Yeah. This one is Michael Kors. Oops, sorry. It's a little too big for me. So I will probably end up selling this one. But it's very nice and you like simple. This I have to clean. I don't remember. And there's some schmutz on it. From, like, I'm going to need some goo gun on there. But I love this bracelet so much. It is Starry Night. Or not Starry Night. This is not Starry Night. I don't remember what this one is, but it is Van Gogh. Um, I don't think it's Starry Night. I have Starry Night over there. But it's in the same, same vein. Um, I don't remember. I did just go to that. You guys see the that Van Gogh Museum the whole interactive thing. I did go and it was, it was really nice. It could be, I don't remember. Yeah, it was the whole, yeah, there was a lot that looked like this. Um, and I love Van Gogh. He's one of my favorites. So I just got to clean this, but it's not in perfect, perfect condition, but it's in very good condition and I will clean it and wear it because I love it. All right, this I thought was weird. And y'all know how I feel about weird stuff. I think I might bring this to an auction. It is one of the most unique utensil bracelets I've seen. It's got abalone. And I think brass or something on there. And it is just probably one of the most unique ones that I've ever seen. So I love that. This one is missing one pearl. I need to find the pearls. They're impossible to find the little half pearls. Even online, they're hard to find. So, this one is Arthur Pepper. I love his stuff. It always looks so beautiful, and this is in such perfect condition except for that. So, so sad when they miss, like, one little thing. It's one little thing. Oh, I got another one of these. I don't know what brand this is. 
Um, it's not signed or anything. But I think these are gorgeous. This is like the second one that I found. And I just, I think they're very nice. Look at how beautiful. I love the colors. So, so nice. Um, so that one. And... This is Mother of Pearl, like cemented on a bangle. Look at that. I need to do some stacks. Yes. A Mother of Pearl mosaic bangle on wood. And it's not super duper heavy. So that's awesome. This one is signed 925. Look at that. I bet these are real diamonds. I have a feeling they might be. They're teeny, teeny, tiny. Little chippies. But I do like, I do like it. And it's, it's very well made. You can see the carriage. Very beautiful. Um, hey, look, I got a wrapper in there. I don't know where my other face went. I'm so sad because I don't know where the other one of this is. And I don't, this is reticulated quartz and turquoise. Maybe not turquoise. I don't remember. But it's not sterling or gold or anything. But like, look at, it's so neat. I love this um, reticulated golden quartz. It's <laughs> it's so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember where... I, yeah, okay, where I am. I think, is this one sterling or it's just, just a key and I like the key? Oh, you guys always have such unique, fun ideas. All right. I bought this because these are crystals. And I love these faceted crystals. And then these are like shell. And this is shell to you, real shell. And then these are rough rose quartz. So I I thought this was really unique. How fun with a t-shirt. And I love the colors, like the brassy color with the pink and the different pink tones and the blushy tones. It's just a very nice, nice necklace. This, I think... Um, is just kind of stunning. This is Talbot's. Talbot's has some really nice jewelry. This is enameled. Is this not perfect for spring? People are like, oh, you have so much like sterling silver jewelry or, you know, whatever. I like things like this. It just adds something to your outfit. Black shirt and wear this. And this is in absolutely perfect condition. I've I've noticed some of the Talbot's jewelry is just it's so nice. I like I said I put it up there with White House Black Market and stuff like that. This one's Leah Sophia. I picked it up because I know people like Pamela. Um, also enjoy abalone like I do, and. 
think this is a resin over abalone, and it's, it's a well-made piece. So when I pick up modern pieces, I pick up things that I think are well well made and things that I would wear and things I think we would all wear in 10 years. But that's usually how my thinking goes. This one I think is Stella in Dot. Yep, Stella in Dot. And it's beautiful stone. That's a real stone. It's not sterling silver or anything, but again, this is also... It's a long, super duper long, very quality. Stellan Dot has some nice quality pieces as well. It is a more modern designer, kind of like Leah Sophia, but I think they're a little bit nicer made. But this is a very beautiful one with faceted natural stone. Okay. What else do we? Look at these weird earrings. I have no idea what these are. Um, I think I thought they might be sterling. They're definitely not sterling. But they're funky. They look like um, espresso beans. <laughs> yeah, espresso bean earrings. That's normal. And I kind of like them. I like espresso bean earrings. Uh, what was this one? This is just a Rolo chain. Apparently, it's just a gold Rolo chain. <laughs> this, I liked. This one is loft. But again, I feel like this is something that's kind of timeless to these faceted crystals and the like raw ruby or something like that yeah I think Talbots is great um they have some really nicely made stuff they're kind of un underestimated I think uh Chico's has some nice stuff too and that's what this one is I think this is Shell and how light and wood beads. This I thought was very summery. And it's got these like gold pieces um, that are just kind of whatever gold pieces. Because <laughs> this one's like a king and two crosses and this cool stylized heart. I, I don't know. I think this is one of those, you wear a t-shirt, you wear this, and some jeans, and you look cool. That's, that's what I think, anyway. I can't, yeah. I don't know if it's a mental thing. I don't really know if coffee really affects me that well or not. This one's J. Crew. Um, and I won't, I won't keep this one, but I love the colors of it. I have a hard time leaving, leaving J. Crew things behind when they're reasonably priced. Because I just think they're, they're really nice and well made. <sighs> What are you doing, necklace? This is Kate Spade, and I bought this because I like the color. It almost matches my nails, even though my nails chipped. <laughs> they always chip. I don't know how people, especially this one, like, I open a can and then chipped. How do people keep their nails from chipping? Probably by getting gel polish, but like I said, I don't love that. This is Monet, I think. Yeah, Monet. Um, 
I think it's a semi-newer Monet. I don't think it's like super duper a new Monet. But look at, look at how simple and beautiful this is. I thought that was very sweet. And again, something that's nice to layer up. About this, I probably thought that it was sterling. I think it's marked. It's marked sterling in here. I don't know if it is or not. I have not tested it. It looks like perhaps it's dirty or maybe is or isn't. I don't know. It smells like it. It's gross. Oh, do you? So I like this one. I just think it's a beautiful color. I like the combo of... Look at it. It's in such nice condition. Of the square and the rectangle and the oval, square rectangle and circle and triangle-ish. And I thought these were plastic, but they kind of also feel like they might be glass. I don't know. What do you think, Sally? If you have the earrings, it is heavier than I thought. At least like a heavier acrylic one, at least. Isn't that the most summer colors ever? I love it. I quite like Kate Spade. Um, so, you know, when I see nice pieces of hers, I do get them. This I got to put for the testing pile. It is. The stuff is missing. I don't even know where I picked it up. <laughs> and this is, I think Marcusites look very rocker chick. It needs another one though. That one fell out. That is a shame. I like the cushion cutness of this. It is too small for me. But. I don't remember how much I paid for that one. Sorry about the bad noise. All right, let's do one, one more. Oh, I could do these. These I thought were fabulous. Oh, I forgot one. <laughs> Let's see. I was talking to somebody about these, and they have the gum. They didn't know they had the gum, but there's gum and candies, and they smell <laughs> like violets, like real violets. And uh, they smell pretty pungently. I love this. This is really long. It is marked here. Monet. Isn't that a cool stylized heart? I thought I like it. It wasn't super cutesy and it is marked Monet on the chain. It is in excellent condition. These are the kind of hearts I like. I like ones that are stylized. They're simple. They're not in your face. I'm a heart. I love you. That was from an estate sale. So is this. I love this. I need to um, put together pieces like this one. That are just kind of funky. Funky pieces. Um... I don't even know how to describe it. It's very artsy. Kind of looks like a person, but also kind of doesn't. With the little scrolls up here. It is not marked. It is on a spring ring clasp. So I'm thinking 70s for this. 
it's in very good condition. Um, let's see. <laughs> Isn't this insane? It's just so cool. You guys remember I had that other one too that I have set aside for myself as well. These are the things that I wear. Like, I go to work and I wear stuff like this. I do. Like, the big, chunky silver pieces. I'll wear things like this to work. Um, wear like the Eisenberg, I will wear, but usually to a wedding or something like that. But the things like this, I will also wear these. And I'm going to figure out when and where to wear this. Like, oh my gosh, like four inches or something. These are crazy big, but I love them. All right, let's see. Is there anything else I want to show you guys before logging off? Do so. I did promise you guys this, and I will do this when I have a moment. This is an Echo scarf, it is Echo 100% pure silk, dry clean only, made in Japan. So, hello to the person that said hello from Japan. I am holding an item from your country now, which I think is so cool. Um, but yeah. Isn't this so beautiful? I just... I love scarves. So that has been... My... I don't want to say passion. That's been my weakness lately. Is scarves. Um, yeah. I just... I love this. So it's going to go with my scarves. I will show you guys my scarves. I also, I got this from Poshmark. I still can't believe I got this from Poshmark. You really have to look on there. Don't find deals all the time. This is super duper heavy. Um, I think I paid $40 for this, $40, $50. Um, this is amazing. It is a hammered sterling silver cuff bracelet. And it fits my wrist pretty well, too, as you guys can see. It doesn't hurt to come on. And it doesn't hurt to come off. Some of these really do. It says sterling pH with a heart. That's oh, so cool. I just, I love this. So this is going away for me. Um, this one was from Amvets. This is sterling silver. I didn't get a lot this day, but look at how cool the shell is. This was $2.98, so it wasn't very expensive. Again, like, they didn't have a lot, though. So I went and got like one thing here, two things there, one thing here, but it's beautiful. This actually could go with that too. I love that pretty, pretty ugly thing. I think they kind of mix. Um, mix stuff. Let's see. If there's anything else. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. I think I might have also got this from Poshmark. I don't recall. But this is J. King. It is sterling silver. It's marked here. Um, it's really pretty. I think that's where I got that one. I think I might have gotten that on Poshmark too. These I also thought were fabulous. These were also $2.98. I'm gonna take them off now. 
I think somebody made these. I'm pretty sure they're most likely sterling silver. I don't see a mark, but again, if somebody made them, they're not always gonna mark them. Especially sometimes if you buy them from an art festival or something, they don't always. Oh, I get attached to everything, yes. <laughs> I'm terrible. So these, look at. So these are ones I'm gonna try to see how to wear. I quite like them. I think they could bring some color in with the strong sterling that I wear sometimes. This I have to test. I don't know if it's lying to me or if it's truly what it says it is. It's something, something Mexico. And it says 925. Let's see. Let's see if it is magnetic. It's not magnetic, so. It's a good first test. Doesn't mean anything, but sometimes, whew, there's a strong magnet. Sometimes it is magnetic and then, you know, pretty much for sure it's not. So this one was 198. They're a kind of older school. That cloisonne, um, 1980s import style earrings, but I never see these hoop earrings like this. You see them with the, the other ones, but never really like this one. And so, and they're gold. I wonder if they're like, cause sometimes they're the gold, the posts can be 19, 14 karat of earrings as well. So this is what they look like. There's no, no problems or anything. So. Receipts. I got the receipts. And some weird stuff. Oh yeah, there was that too. That was this okay, this was six ninety-eight. And I was like, oh I like it. I like trees. <laughs> I do like trees. That's why I bought it, because I love trees. And then I noticed this. This is James Avery Sterling Tree. Which is funny because I never used to find James Avery stuff. Um, and every once in a while I do. So I love that. I thought that was so cool. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's the last stuff in here. I think that's it. No, I have a bag. Bags are illegal in New York State. <laughs> um, plastic ones. So getting a plastic bag is a luxury nowadays. 248. And this one I think is marked. So marked. Or maybe it is or it isn't. And I just use the plastic bags for garbage. I always always kind of have. So I think this is 925. I think it's sterling. And I don't know what stone this is, but for three dollars. Love it. This was randomly in there. I don't even know where that came from. These were two dollars. Throw 
Yes, I always throw out these ones. Ugh. <clears throat> these are little tiny moonstones. Look at how precious they are. Little teeny tiny moonstones. And they are Mark 925. And this was two ninety eight, and their stuff isn't all this cheap. Sometimes their stuff is quite expensive. Actually, that's I think maybe something I got over here. I did grab a lot of stuff to show you guys. This one was expensive. No, it wasn't. I don't know. There's stuff over there for you guys for tomorrow. Um, <laughs> so this is sterling silver. Yes. Um, the chain itself is sterling silver. This, I think, is 14 karat gold plated. But it is a little dollop handmade glass pendant, which I love handmade glass. Who doesn't? This was, These were 198 198 I love these. This will be the last thing I show you guys before I go to bed. Betty buys. It is marked 925 on the backs, on both backs. And these are enamel over copper. And I love the colors. I, I love these. They're just really neat. So I think whoever probably got these um, might have also had these because they're somewhat similar of that artsy look um, and bright in your face, but like on your ears in that, in that way. So I think they're, they're beautiful. So yeah, orange and blue, other than the Denver Broncos colors <laughs> and probably some other sports teams I can't think of right now. Um, I think it's a cool combination. I like it. All right, so that is what I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed and had fun, and now you're ready to go to bed like I am. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.